say too, because coming into this game, all I heard last week was about how the AFC is going to be ran through Kansas City and Buffalo. Let's not disrespect the Cincinnati Bengals, the Baltimore Ravens, the LA Chargers. There are other teams in the AFC that has a lot to say about who's going to win the AFC. Let's not just pretend like the Bills and the Chiefs are locked into the Super Bowl. We we, we got last year, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this, no one expected the Cincinnati Bengals to roll into Arrowhead and beat Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. You damn sure didn't see it coming when the Bengals were trailing on the scoreboard at the half. So the Bengals, they were the surprise team last year in the postseason that made noise. So this year, let's not disrespect some of these other teams. I'm seeing a lot of Chiefs and Bills fans talking like one of their two teams is going to be in the Super Bowl. And, and, and I do understand why the Bills feel like in order to reach their goals, they have to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I get it. because. Over the last few years, the Chiefs, they have eliminated the Bills in the postseason. So I get why Patrick, why Josh Allen and Sean McDermott and that Buffalo Bills team, they want to prioritize beating the Kansas City Chiefs. But don't forget about those other teams in the AFC. When the Miami Dolphins get to a back and he's healthy, the Dolphins, they are a team. That is a contender in the AFC. Don't forget at one point in the season, the Dolphins did beat the Bills in week three, 21 to 19 in Miami. They were 3-0 at one point this season. The Bengals, they are coming along. They just beat the Saints in New Orleans Sunday afternoon. So the Bengals are now at 500. They're 3-3. Three three. The Ravens had a letdown performance against the New York Giants, but the Giants are for real. So that's not even a bad loss for the Ravens. But the, the, the Ravens always find a way to lose games and lose leagues. But they're 3-3 three and three too. Chargers, they're 4-2 and two on the season. So let's not just pencil the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills into the Super Bowl. There's plenty of competition in the AFC. What I will say is this. Coming into the season, remember we talked about how the AFC West – is loaded. The Broncos got Russell Wilson. The Raiders got Carr. They got Devontae Adams. They got Chandler Jones. The Chargers got Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, Austin Ekelar. The AFC West is loaded. We can officially put to bed who's the best team in the AFC West. It is the Kansas City Chiefs. Despite losing on Sunday, the Chiefs are the best team in the AFC West. The Raiders, they are awful. They're one and four on the season. As NFL fans, we were lucky to not have to see the Las Vegas Raiders in week six. They're one and four. The Broncos, I'm going to talk about them here in a bit, but they are awful offensively. Russell Wilson looks to be overpaid and overhyped. So the Broncos. They're not living up to expectations. And the Chargers last night, even though they did beat the Broncos, they weren't impressive in that victory. And the Chiefs already beat the Chargers in week two. So let's put to bed this AFC West division, having so much parity. The Kansas City Chiefs are the best team in the AFC West now and for the remaining of the season.